When I was studying my graduate school, when I was studying for my PhD degree, I studied computer science. So of all the stuff, a lot of technical, detailed stuff, uh, classes I've been to, the one class that I found to be most intriguing and actually valuable to me was not about anything about computer science. Because one day, my teacher, my professor said, today we're not teaching it was operating system class. So today, we're going to teach you how to do effective communication. Okay. So thereafter, I pay quite a lot of attention to that question. Because I find that communication, as we know, is even more important than the content itself. How you explain, like you said, how you represent the knowledge, more important than the knowledge itself. Um, so as we all know, know that any great leaders is absolutely have to be a great communicator. There's almost no way to be the other way around. So I think you hit the nail on the head in that whether it's our employees or students in school, I advocate that we spend more time teaching people how to communicate and how to collaborate. Because those are the two things that's very key to the next generation, this next sort of, this, this next generation of uh, doing, being a digital, living a digital life. Uh, we're already seeing that phenomenon in the consumer space, right? Our kids, our next generation, is a lot more used to sharing than we ever were. Um, and we haven't really gotten quite used to that yet in business. Okay. In other words, in a general sense, not all sharing is that scary. A lot of businesses feel like, geez, that seems really terrible. You know, what if my secrets get, you know, um, stolen and or whatever? But they get stolen anyway if that has to be stolen because that's what's preventing it from leaking out through email. So the door is already wide open. You don't even sense that. But I think in this new way of communicating through a network, this really offers you more protection than this wide open uh, sort of email paradigm or email culture. However, so we need to put the executive's mind at peace that doing this, net, this, it this way is actually even safer than allowing this wide open. You you have no company has a way of stopping anyone from sending out an email to someone else or by mistake often even. Um, so one is the men, the the sort of the mindset we need to change that it's actually better this way, more protection, more secure. And second, like you said is to make them everyone feel comfortable uh, about communicating this way. And what we found through across the world with people that put in some effort into this transformation is everyone becomes more, not only communi communicative, but more accountable, more judicious. Because when you say things that are more open Actually, you become a lot more careful than just sending something in an email that you think is very, very private. So, uh, so this is indeed an important business change in culture. And like I said, when we look back in five to ten years, we'll find that to be very, very commonplace. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but today, we need to do that education. And the best way, in my view, for this education is to go and practice that, little by little. Then you will know that hey, it's not that scary, it's very effective. <laughs>